All right, so um, on 12.5, now we're on the dependent events. And that is when one event affects another. And that's where we get into this concept of conditional probability. That's why we have the probability of the first event times the probability of the second event happening, but it depends on whatever the first event was. Okay? So when we are taking a look at this, example six, it says you randomly select two cards from a standard deck of 52. What's the probability that the first card is not a face card and the second card is not a face card if you replace the first card. Well, replace means I'm putting it back in. So what I want you to do on your papers is I want you to circle and underline the following because this will be a big help for you. First clue is and. Uh, not a face card and, so circle and the second card. That and means we're going to be doing multiplication. Next is replace. Replace means that I'm putting the card back in. Okay, so replace means I'm putting the card back in, so that's very important. So make sure you put that down there. Replace means I put the card back in, which means my numbers are going to stay the same. Nothing is going to change on that, so I want you to keep that in mind. So if you replace the card, then the events are independent because the same number of cards are back in the deck. However, if you do not replace, then they are dependent of each other. So in this example, these items are independent of each other because I put the card back in the deck. I'm replacing it, so it's an independent event. So how many cards in the deck are not face cards? 40 out of 52. And the second time up, when I go again, since I'm putting the card back in, how many are not face cards? 40 out of 52. So you take the two numbers and multiply them. That's all you're doing here. What's the likelihood that you will not get a face card? 40 out of 52. There it was. Okay. I put the card back in the deck, and I pick again. What's the probability that it will not be a face card again? The reason that is, is because I put the card back in. That's why it's 40 out of 52 again. So 40 out of 52 times 40 out of 52, we end up with 59.17%. Continuing that, it says you do not replace the card. Now, since we're talking about do not replace, since we're talking about do not replace, that means we're talking about dependent events. It's conditional on another one. So what that means is there are 40 cards that are not face cards, 40 out of 52, and the second card now is 39. And let me explain why this happens. First time you choose, 40 out of 52. So the first time you choose, it's 40 out of 52 that are not face cards. The second time you choose, all right, you have that card in your hand. You didn't put that card back out. So the point I'm getting at is you're holding that card in your hand. That's one less card in the deck. That's why we went from 52 total cards to 51 total cards. Then you have the 39 on top. The reason why the 39 is on top is, once again, because you took one face card out, so there's one less. That's why it went down, and that's why it's conditional upon the other event that happened. So you end up with 58.82%. Example 7. You and two friends go to a restaurant and order a sandwich. The menu has 10 types of sandwiches, and each of you is equally likely to order any type. What is the probability that each of you orders a different type? Okay, well, here's basically what that means. First person walks in, right? The first person walks in. They have 10 choices out of 10 sandwiches. They can pick any sandwich they want because they went first. Any sandwich they want, they can pick. No problem. Second person comes up. They can't pick the same sandwich as the first person, so they only have 9 choices out of 10. Okay, they only have 9 choices out of 10. Then the third person comes up. They can't pick what the first person did, and they can't pick what the second person did. So they have to pick the third one, which is 8 out of 10. They only have 8 choices now left because the other two aren't available because they were picked by someone else prior. So you multiply everything straight across, and you get 72% as your answer. All right, so there is your homework. I hope that helped open some of your eyes a little better. Um, the big difference here between 12.4 and 12.5 is and and or. That's what we're talking about. And means multiplication. Or we are talking about um, addition. Um, and obviously there's conditional probability dealing with both of those. Um, it's conditioned in 12.4 because we subtract it away because it's the same in both. And in 12.5, um, it's conditioned, meaning we have to subtract one from each 
um, item in there uh, before we multiply. So keeping that stuff in mind, um, hopefully that helps clear up everything on probability uh, that we started since 12.3 now to 12.5. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to email me.